the holy sacrifice of the Mass, Tuesday of the third week in Easter. Our entrance antiphon, sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great, for now salvation and strength have come and the power of his Christ, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare our hearts to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Splendor of the Father and his Word made flesh. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who opened wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the Righteous One, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning Stephen, he cried out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. In your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. 
For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do? that we may see and believe in you. What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the bread from heaven, my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the word of this Gospel wipe away our sins. Jesus ended a couple of his parables with the statement, they will be thrown into outer darkness where there will be wailing and gnashing or grinding of teeth. Kind of hear the beginning of that. Those who simply do not want to hear the truth, they close their ears, they grind their teeth. They usually try to do violence to those telling the truth. I remember my... Uh, one of my professors in seminary, uh, Father McNally, who was a church history professor, would often say, if you want to be a prophet, you have to look good on wood. Speaking of uh, martyrdom, as Stephen reminds his audience, but he sees the fullness of the vision of God, knowing what is waiting for him in God's heavenly kingdom. And in his martyrdom, he begins to repeat and reflect um, Jesus himself on the cross. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. And Stephen saying, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. Jesus saying, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Stephen saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. This marks a shift in what Jesus himself says as he appears to his apostles 
as the risen Lord, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me by my Father, says the Lord Jesus. The church sees fit to lead us once again to this bread of life discourse. And Jesus, once again, beginning to rock the boat a little, people having such confidence that Moses was the source of the miraculous food, manna in the desert. But Jesus reminds us, it is our Heavenly Father who is the source of every good thing, and especially the bread that he sent from heaven, his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. But there are still those many who do not want to hear this truth of who it is we receive in this Eucharist, not some symbol, not some um, distant sign, but the body, blood, soul, and divinity, the real presence of our Lord Jesus Christ is exactly as he promised, exactly as the power that God gives him as he speaks in the fourth chapter of the Gospel of John. The Father has the possession of life in himself, and he has given his Son the possession of life in himself, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to give it. Jesus wishes us to receive what he gives, this bread from heaven, the bread of angels, this Eucharistic feast. Once again, the world would oftentimes reject this, um, sometimes even very violently. This is the first time we meet our own patron saint, Saul of Tarsus, who at this time is an enemy of Jesus Christ and his church. But even Saint Paul, the one whose name was changed, as we often see throughout Scripture, when God changes the heart, something new is made, so St. Paul would always reflect back on his own sinfulness, his own um, vitriol against the truth, against Jesus Christ and his church. But God changed his heart, and this is a message for us. No matter how darkened we our soul because of our sin, no matter what our attitudes before, God is fully capable of changing the heart, of producing within us a complete change of heart to go from darkness to light, from sin and death to life, and life eternal in the Son of Man, Jesus Christ. Amen. Alleluia. Seeking to share Stephen's courageous witness, we pray, hear our prayer, God of life, as we respond to these petitions, Lord, hear our prayer, and we pray for the church, especially the pontificate of Francis, our Pope, the ministry of Stephen Reka, Bishop of Gaylord, Bishop-elect of the Diocese of Birmingham, Alabama. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that all Jesus' disciples may speak out against violence in all its forms. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the law and its servants may protect the rights of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that violence motivated by religion may cease. We pray to the Lord. We pray that the spirit of courage may sustain those who suffer discrimination because of their beliefs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray that the sick may be upheld in their suffering by the strength of the martyrs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a very special way for the people of God of the Diocese of Gaylord, especially the parishioners of St. Paul on Away, St. Monica App, and in the spiritual communion that we receive the fullness of Christ's power, that he is truly our bread from heaven and daily bread at this Eucharistic table. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the healing and continued blessings for Sue Tesmer, for whom this Mass is being offered, for the Tesmer family, especially Dave, her primary caregiver. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who witness to Christ's life in their life, may share his glory and eternity in our beloved dead, the deceased of our parish family, the deceased of our own families, in a very special way, the repose of the soul of Mary and Manners. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the conversion of sinners, for the salvation of souls, for the souls in purgatory, and for those souls who have no one to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us gathered here in the spiritual communion, the taking from this altar, Jesus, who shares himself with us, that we become by his power, his living sign, of his hand reaching out to save, calling the world to life through his holy name, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, receive our prayers, God of martyrs, and inflame in us the desire to proclaim your word. May we one day be received into your glory with Stephen and all your faithful servants, where Christ Jesus lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be acceptable to you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord, our God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, 
these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Paul, St. Monica, St. Peter, St. Louis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him with him in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the risen Lord Jesus be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us all safe.
our communion antithon. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and in his graciousness may he give you peace. May the blessings of Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember, know that you are loved and we can rejoice that things will be opening up, um, I think in a matter of a couple of weeks. Let us pray for that as I pray this prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, graciously regard the heart of your well-beloved Son and the acts of praise and satisfaction which he renders you on behalf of us sinners. And through their merit, grant pardon to us who implore your mercy. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. Jesus Christ is risen today.